A Little Introduction to Statistical Learning by David Caputo. Jared has been doing quite a few graphs in his math classes. He wonders if there is a purpose to it all. Sure there is, Jared. Who are you? The name is Dean. I am a data scientist that can tell you a few things about one of the many purposes of graphs and the math you have been doing. Have you heard of statistical learning? What is that? Statistical learning is a combination of looking at information or data and finding a relationship with what we have or looking into the future to make a prediction. This is when we look at graphs with more depth and see if there is a relationship, mainly between what is used as possible predictors to see what the result is. Take for example how much time you study for a test in your math class. Did you ever notice that when you study more, you do better on a test? Really? Now that you mention it, that makes sense. Are you saying there is a relationship between how much time I put into studying and the grades I get? Yes, that is exactly it. And statistical learning can be used to predict or guesstimate a student's grade for this example. Now let's think about this a little bit. With our information about our study and grades, what could we do with it? Hint, what do you draw before you draw lines or dots in math class? Um, a graph? Yes, a graph. And with the information in our graph, we create a line since we are looking at two pieces of information, hours of study and grades. Of course, if we looked at more pieces of information, we would be looking at graphs in three dimensions or more, which involves planes and hyperplanes. I simply want you to understand the basics in two dimensions. Yes, sir. But remember, with our information, our points will not make a straight line, but will very likely have a correlation that can be represented by a line. And that line is what we use for our prediction. It doesn't mean that we exactly know what will happen, but we likely know where the result will be. What about making a line go through all of the points so we have 100% accuracy? This would mean that we are allowing our line to be very flexible. There is a problem that data scientists face when doing this. It relates to how the line that was made for our prediction loses interpretation. Lines that are straight for a prediction are easy to interpret, but if the line is very flexible, then the interpretation is sacrificed. We have to be careful how much flexibility we allow for our predicting line. Really? Hmm. I guess it isn't that easy. Could we predict other things like earthquakes? Yes, we can make a prediction of earthquakes, and with those predictions, you can draw the edges of the tectonic plates. Wow, that is a lot to take in. One step at a time, Jared, and you will get it. Remember that statistical learning is a combination of inferring and making a prediction. Also, accuracy is not everything a model should be. It is a good idea to not be as accurate as possible, since interpreting what our prediction lines are telling us is still crucial. Created using Powtoon.